out of curiosity i would love to know i mean maybe starting with you jake if you had to have one guest on for this year like one person that you want to have on who is that person and go around i'll start wow. i would say i'd love to have bedros on okay bedros would be my oh, guy I'll pull yeah. that G. um you know that's so crazy because that's Honestly. He's not on the list. I gotta get he, him on the list. He's on my list. Is he? he on your list? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I Good. was gonna do the outreach and then let you know, but yes, yes. you know, I, I, he's a mentor he's a, he's to awesome. me. Kind he's of. he's an amazing. He doesn't know it, but he's yeah, a mentor he's to me. He will. He will. And, and and you, it's very exciting. And I'm I'm trying to kind of keep it together when I talk about this stuff. It's very exciting to see things that have only existed in your imagination right. really start to become a reality, and something happens when when you reach a certain point where all of a sudden these very impossible goals mm -hmm. become all of a sudden attainable mm -hmm. where a conversation if we would have had three years ago hey i'd like to have bedros cooley on on well first of all three years ago i might have said who's that but second of all <laughs> it would have been it would have been impossible it would have been something that i would have been like ah well maybe one day who knows seeing where it's at today that's a big shift and it's not just a shift in mindset i can see in everybody that i interact with that this is now a realistic goal to right. set for this year mm -hmm. guys like him it's possible mm -hmm. it's not it's not in fact i would say it's not improbable right so bedros is a great great choice did you pull up his page yeah. oh yeah i did i already okay, pulled perfect. it up who, who is yours um to have on here and not to go on theirs okay and it's and it's got to be it has to be within this year because uh, I know it doesn't have to be. It's more so like, what's your personal goal? Um, I mean, I want to give a realistic answer to this. I right. could say like Joe Rogan, but that's not, I don't think a realistic right. goal for this. Uh, Alex Armosi. Okay. Would be Ooh, a right. very, yeah. that'd oh, be a you very good You honestly took mine. <laughs> Did I really take yours? <laughs> yeah, because he's, he in be the, great. he's in the pipeline for some he'd, other things. He'd be up this, there. In this network, in this Arizona community. He's already in the pipeline, so. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> him him yeah. and his wife. Like, his wife would be yeah. great to have. Yeah. Yeah. Both She's of them. amazing. She is. I, I, yeah. right? Honestly, I could probably amazing. tell you five or six, and, and they'd all be just as good as that. Right. Uh, it's, it'd be really cool to have Laird Hamilton on. Mm -hmm. It would be really cool to have... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd love to talk, talk to Aubrey Marcus. <laughs> I would love to yeah. talk to that freaking guy. Oh, my God. No, yeah. Is that the on it? Yeah, that's okay. the CEO of Onnit, or the uh, actually the ex CEO of Onnit, because he sold. He doesn't. Uh, I don't think he does much with Onnit anymore. He's okay, the, he's the one who goes up to Sedona, right? Is that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's okay. him. I know who he is. Aubrey, come on, buddy. <laughs> Let's talk. I want to know how did this happen. <laughs> no, he he'd be he'd be a great one. <laughs> Andy, too, what, what do you think? What, what would yours be? What no, you I, I mean, truly, mine would truly be, would be Alex. I watch Alex's videos probably every single day. So he's. I have that. His mentality is in my brain now. Pretty insightful guy. So, yeah. He's, he's got some great stuff. Yeah. And it truly the real hard and rough, like, entrepreneurial story. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I was sleeping on the floor of my gyms and now I'm making multi-million dollars. Like, that is a true champion. Yeah. 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 You know. So is his wife. Uh, yep. In the book. Right. I, I oh remember he said, I Their love that story part. together. Yes. Mm -hmm. How he took, remember, because he told her, uh, if you, if you right. leave me. I wouldn't blame you. Right. I would leave me. Right. Yeah. And remember what she told him? Yeah. I would stay with you if we slept under a bridge. That's outstanding. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. very cool. And that's rare. Very rare. Oh my gosh, is that rare? You know who would be a cool one too is Patrick Bet. Who's that? Who? Patrick. Uh, hold up. I got to pull up his Instagram. Just make sure. We'll see if he can do it. What is it? Patrick Bet, Bet, Bet David. David. Yeah. Okay, I have him up right now. Got him. Yeah, he would be really good too. He's it's like uh, a sales. Dude, I have no idea who this is. He uh, he has a story. He's an entrepreneur, but his story. He's coming from Iran, um, and uh, he's an Assyrian migrating to the United States. Um, but he's kind of got my the, geography uh, sucks. That's not the same, right? A, Assy a proud Assyrian. That's not Iran, right? Oh, I, believe I believe so. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we could. <laughs> I guess we could Google. It. I guess we could Google it. That's uh, all right. <clears throat> we'll come um, on here. We'll ask him. But yeah, he's got a really cool story. It's kind of the immigrant edge that Bedros mm -hmm. talks about a lot. Um, you know, coming from nothing and having to rebuild himself in the United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, you know, he talks to a lot of a lot of people, um, and a lot of people resonate with his message. So mm -hmm. he'd be a good one. Yeah. So mine is um I think I've showed you guys pretty much this guy like five or six times. His name is Dr. James 
Oh, that's a hard one to say. Uh, Den Nicolatonio. <laughs> oh my goodness! So that name is a mouthful. Yeah. D I. How do you spell it? Um, you spell it D I N I C O L A N T O N I O. That is a Did mouthful. Den De Nicolatonio. Antonio. I think Antonio. That's I think I actually just watched a video where he actually says his name. And how I'll many play vowels are in that name? A lot, but um. A little context to him is he is a, a doctor. Andrew and Huberman would be another one. Andrew Huberman would be outstanding. Yes. Yeah. Uh, his whole thing is about like salt, collagen, just different uh, healthy aspects. Oh, yeah. But... This is the nutritionist. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. I don't understand this. I mean, this guy, his entire – look at his page. It's all just basically tweets. <laughs> and, 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 and millions, millions of people follow that. Yeah, the iPad's been a little he, weird. Uh, okay, but he he's an author, right? He's got a couple mm -hmm. books. Yep. He's, uh, he's been in the, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, he's an author. That what about Violin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> let's do Let's do it. Let's get him on with him someone on. with someone that uh, honestly, you know, I would love be it. fun to get like two differing uh, opinions. On, oh, on... Uh, Neo Verto and Dr. Joel Seedman. Yes, <laughs> let's get them in here. And do you, do you know those guys? Do you understand the, the, the dilemma? Yes. I think the whole thing is stupid, but this is very, very important to a lot of different right. people. No, it is. Let's get them. Let's. No, oh, I would love to get them both in here. Let's oh. get uh, Derek from More Plates, More Dates. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He, Absolutely. He just, uh, yeah. You don't know him. Yeah, I'll send you his page. Oh, you've got to know him. He's outstanding. Yeah, no, he uh, one of the most page. engaging uh, accounts on YouTube. Okay. All, all of it is like just him, like with like a really boring background, but he has a way of just like storytelling and like he's very knowledgeable on like steroids and stuff like that. Cool. But no, really, really to, good to, dude. To give you a, a little bit of a background, sure. He's who helped break the Liver King. He is You're the guy kidding. who, yes, he went on Joe Rogan. They died. They went Whoa. through all of his inter androgynous steroid use. And he has a very, very deep knowledge of okay. steroid use, both safe and unsafe. Mm -hmm. And he's the guy he said, essentially, what the Liver King is running is enough to get two Mr. Olympias Whoa. to the stage. That's how much drugs the Whoa. Liver King is doing. Okay. But Derek is um, probably the single most notable guy in that particular field.